I figured I'd take a couple minutes to go over my hunting setup for this year. Quite frankly, it's all changed literally from uh, what I ended the year with last year, pretty much, and didn't expect it to change as much as it did, but uh, it just kind of happened. I saddle hunted for the last three years and ended up um, deciding to switch to tree stand hunting, which is what I'm going to do this year. And so this is my entire setup that uh, I've got to get used to and work at, uh, work with and, and get really comfortable with. And most of it's, you know, I've been hunting a long time, so it shouldn't be that difficult. But obviously when I go in the woods, I want to be very efficient at uh, what I'm doing, not make a bunch of noise and get up the tree quietly and smoothly. So I definitely have some work to do to kind of figure out how I'm going to carry it all in and, you know, get it all set up and not be all frustrated, especially in the dark. But anyway, the first thing that I got this year, which was completely unexpected, was this bow. It is a uh, Obsession DEFCON HZ6, and I was using a Blackout by Diamond Archery, and I liked it, but my friend kind of pulled a little trick on me and uh, ended up sending me this bow, which is awesome bow. Um, I've shot it, got sights and stabilizer and the arrows I had, but I got a new uh, quiver for it and um, this thing shoots awesome, super quiet, super smooth, and it's really fast. So this is going to be my bow this year to uh, use and I have a, now I have either a backup or um, maybe I'll get one of my kids to, or a couple of them into hunting and they can use my old bow. But I'm uh, really excited to, uh, to use that. That is one sweet bow. The other thing I'm really excited about is my tree stand. Like I said, I saddle hunted for three years and um, I just kind of wanted to make a change. I saw Dan Infault using uh, his B stand and I know they're not cheap, but kind of was something that I wanted to, um, to try out. And there were some things about saddle hunting that I wasn't particularly fond of and it might just be me, but either way I wanted to try to hunt out of a, a tree stand and I love this B stand by Dan Infault. So I sold all of my saddle stuff, sticks, platform saddle, all the tethers and linemen's belts and carabiners and pouches, everything that came with it, I sold it, which still wasn't enough <laughs> to buy this, but I footed a little bit of extra money myself and, and um, I ended up purchasing this. And so I'm really excited to use this and it should be a lot of fun. This thing is so light. I mean, it just, it's like, it's crazy. I think with everything, including the strap, it's like 7.2 pounds or something like that. And uh, it feels like it. it's just so light. As a result of that though, now I don't have a tether to the tree. I had to get a new uh, safety harness. So I just went to Bass Pro Shop and bought this one. It was like 60 or 70 bucks. I've put it on a few times, fits fine and, and seems comfortable. Um, and I hope to never have to actually use it. So, uh, but it is there just in case. As a result of that, um, I got a, and I don't know if I'll carry it like this, but um, I got a Lyman's uh, belt to go up the tree when I'm climbing in my sticks. And I also got the um, safety harness that goes, a strap that goes around the tree to attach to the harness. And I ended up getting this just cause I, I might, I don't wanna have to pull off my pack and pull out my stuff. I might just have this wrapped around me and that way I can unzip it and you know do everything that I need to do um, on the way up. So I may use this, I may not. Again, I, I've got to figure out my whole system because I don't know yet. But um, the other thing, which I did get these last year and used them maybe twice, I think. I don't remember, but it wasn't any more than twice. But um, I got these Skeletor sticks made by Tethered. Um, I saw them advertised on, um, actually, I think it was Black Friday. If you bought them by Black Friday, you're guaranteed to get them like by uh, the new... Um, Christmas or something like that. I don't I remember. But anyway, I ordered them and uh, they came in just like they said and I, and I used them once or twice and these things are awesome. Again, super light, um, super convenient. They work so easy. Um, everything about them is just really cool and the price is right too from my perspective. But um, I also have a uh, Nader that I'm going to use. I used a um, Aider last year, one step Aider. And uh, that worked all right, but um, I actually switched this year to a Nader that I'm gonna use with this, and I'll show you that in a minute. But these things are really cool. 
They bite to the tree great, and uh, again, everything about them is just convenient from my perspective, and even, again, carrying, very nice. Another thing that I changed was last year I used the Muddy um, camera arm, and uh, I met um, Jeremy from Jeremy Riggins Outdoors uh, this year, and we met together, and he was kind enough to uh, give me one of his camera arms that he sells, and I would encourage you, Jimmy, Jeremy Riggins Outdoors, get online, and see what um see what he has but he sells these camera arms and uh actually he's got a newer one i believe coming out this year that's even cooler than this but this thing is incredibly light incredibly compact it's just and it's probably i don't know a pound and my other uh, camera arm for money was like four and a half five pounds something like that so i've cut down on weight and bulk everything and um this is going to be my new uh, camera arm i actually put stealth strips all on the side of it as you can see and um, just to kind of quiet it down or you know keep stuff from banging in it because it's um, aluminum and it will make a lot of noise if, if, if I didn't from stuff banging on it in the backpack or whatever so anyway I got that the other thing I saw him actually do a um, video on was um, this fluid arm by a small rig it's the I think CH10 it's called and uh, this is a super small fluid arm that um, works honestly really well. And uh, I saw him do a review on it, so I ended up getting one, it's like 50 bucks online, so I ended up buying one as well. Again, an effort to cut down on weight and bulk. And uh, so that's going to be my fluid arm that I'm gonna to attach to that camera arm, which I'm pretty excited about. But, um, so that's my camera equipment. I didn't change any cameras. I did add a uh, GoPro Hero 5 to my uh, collection, which I hope to use this year. But all my camera equipment, as far as the actual cameras, is staying the same because that's too expensive to replace. So the other thing, I ended up getting a new backpack because the one that I used last year, the zippers were broken on it, and it was just it was a cheap. I paid 100 bucks for it, but off of Amazon, it just really was. Honestly, kind of cheaply built backpack, but it did its purpose, no complaints. Um, but anyway, I, I'm like, I can't use that again this year because half the zippers don't work anymore. So I got in line, did some research, didn't want to pay 200 bucks or whatever for um, you know a new backpack, which you could do pretty easily. And so I got on Tethered's website, or I'm sorry, I got on Tideweed's website, and I found this backpack and I think it was, I'd have to double check, but I think it was only like 60 bucks or something like that. It wasn't that expensive. And uh, honestly, it was very similar to the one that I had last year, except even better built. And it just, you can just feel it. it it's, it's stronger uh, built, it's thicker material. The zippers are way uh, stronger than the one that I had. And so this is going to be my new backpack that I carry all of my stuff in. And um, it has essentially kind of all the same pockets. It has the, the um, you know, waist uh, strap as well. And so it's very similar in size to the one that I had, but just all around a much better uh, backpack. The other thing that I had that I just alluded to regarding my sticks, is I said I used last year a one-step aider and uh, worked fine, no issues with that, but um, one of the things I didn't like is just the possibility of maybe your foot kicking out on the bottom um, at times because really your only touch point is the tip of your toe on your boot. And um, I didn't have any accidents with it, but it wasn't something really that I that I was thrilled about. Um, I definitely, some of these people are using three-step aiders. That's just, that's just not me. But um, I was thinking of maybe getting a fifth stick from Skeletor, but they only sell them in packs of four. I still might try to see if I can get a, a, a pack of four and maybe sell the other three and just keep one but in the meantime what I decided to do instead was actually get a aider or a nader now the nader basically it has a hook here this goes around your calf and this goes over your boot your boot goes through there and what you do is you use this hook and you hook it onto the stick whoops one way of getting it off. Don't want to do that while I'm hunting. Hook that on the stick like that, and then you use the other stick, obviously, to step up onto. And uh, it's really convenient, honestly, works real well. And um, I used to use Wild Edge Steps. I used the Nader and Swader system that they had for that, or, or that, you know, they, not them, but some guy sold it. And uh, it worked pretty well. That's the thing I'm going to be using for. Um, 
essentially my climbing system. So I can put one of these sticks at five feet high with that nader. And so with four sticks, I can get up, you know, 20 feet. And of course, if I go another foot above with my stand, I could get up to 20, um, you know, 21 feet around there to uh, hunt. In the swamps, you don't necessarily even want to get up that high, but um, in open hardwoods, you know, the higher you can get, typically the better because at least here in Michigan, they seem to look up at you quite often. But anyway, that's kind of my setup this year. And again, I wasn't, I didn't start the year planning on any of this, basically. It just, it kind of all fell in my lap and the situation seemed right. So that's what I'm using. And now I've got a lot of work to kind of figure it all out and figure out my systems and make sure that it's, very efficient and quiet when I go into the woods. But thanks for watching and um, leave down in the comments what you plan on using this year and uh, any changes that you might be making. Um, I always enjoy the product. Obviously I want to kill a, a buck. That's the, always the hope, but I do enjoy my systems and, and the stuff that I use. And um, I'm very much into the experience of hunting as well as of course trying to get one. But anyway, Thanks for watching and I'm hoping that uh, you're getting excited about uh, this coming year as well for you.